This one we're going to talk about the deceiver and sin and the serpent and the Messiah. First of all, the deceiver and sin. What does it say? In Genesis 3.1, the serpent challenges Eve about what God said. She told him what he said and the serpent says, Did God actually say you shall not eat of any tree in the garden? Now first thing he did, and you have to be careful here because this is the kind of questions we get asked from the enemy. The Hasatan distorted the word of God. Okay, it, She never said that. I mean, I think she would even have had a hard time even answering this question. Look at the question. She said, did he say you shall not eat of any tree? Well, how are you going to live if you don't eat of any tree in the garden? But you see how she's like, uh, uh. You know, so the question itself very often is what creates the confusion. And so that's part of what created the confusion here. She answers, the fruit of the tree which is in the midst of the garden, God said don't eat it or you can touch it or you're going to die. God didn't say that, but I don't know, Adam might have said it, just to be careful. Don't even touch it. I don't know. But God didn't say it. So the confusion, what happens when we get confused is, is she's not even sure what she heard anymore. And ultimately this leads to, we know what happened. He challenges and the serpent says to the woman, you shall not die. And, and a literal translation there again is dying you shall not die. But again, I just copied it and pasted it. And um, because it doesn't make a lot of sense in English. But that's actually what it says. And he says, you know, you're not going to die. So there he what? He calls God a liar. So he distorted the God. Uh, distorted the word of God. He, he tries to be confusing. He creates questions that are confusing. And so we have to realize here that we have a lying adversary who wants to destroy us. He hates God. He's jealous of our relationship with God. He wants to get in the middle of it. He wants to destroy it. He wants us to sin, which actually separates us in our relationship with God. Ends up leading to curses and not blessings. But God promises a cure. Emmanuel, God with us. The coming Messiah will cure our sins and our relationships with God and restore us back. Okay? And so that comes in a bit. Watch. And that, we have the serpent and the Messiah. So the Lord says to the serpent, I will put hostility, because you've done this, because you created all, you, you messed this thing up, I'm going to put enmity or hostility between you and the woman and between your seed and her seed. Okay? And he, her seed, will bruise your head I suppose say, I suppose say her, her seed, there's a, there's, a mis, there's a typo right there. Between your seed and her seed. He, her seed, will bruise your head. Um, he will bruise your head, and that can also be break. The, the Hebrew word there can mean he's going to break your head. It's actually what it means. He's going to break your head, and you're going to bruise his heel. Okay? So, sin is in the world, and this hostility between, between the Hasatan and man, but it's the offspring who would be the most adversarial with the Satan, and, and, and the, the one that's going to be the adversary, the one that's going to come back at him and actually break his head, is going to be the singular seed of the woman. And notice it doesn't say they will. It says he will. Singular. So this singular seed, singular, is going to be the one that's going to crush the head of the enemy. Now what does that mean? To break it. What Break the rosh. Okay? What head, that, the word there, Rosh, is head, actually is the same word as like when you're in charge, when you're head, you're in power. And so essentially what it's saying is, is this offspring, this seed, is the one that's going to break the power of Satan. He's going to destroy the power of Satan. He's going he's to overwhelm, it can mean overwhelm, he's going to bruise him, he's going to overwhelm him, break the serpent's head. But the serpent is going to break his heel. In other words, it's going to break his walk in this life. Okay? So that's the prophecy of the serpent and the Messiah. So we have here that this seed of the woman, notice that Adam is not mentioned in this prophetic. This is God talking to the enemy. His prophecy. He said, this is what's going to happen. Okay, so that's prophecy, right? When God says, this is what's going to happen. Adam is not mentioned here. The seed of the woman. Does a woman have a seed? No. But he said, yes, <laughs> there is one in this case. And so that's actually a prophecy of the virgin birth, of the Redeemer, who's going to be the one that bruises the enemy, who will break his head, his rosh, his power. 
over mankind. Okay, that's the one who's going to do it. And this is the first prophecy of what's referred to as the suffering Messiah. He is the one that's going to crush the power of the enemy that, he, that the enemy has over our lives. And that's a good thing because that's what we need. Amen?